Chicks dig the long ball, and it's me, I'm Chicks. And only 11% of you guys voted for the current home run leader on the Seattle Mariners so far in 2023. We asked you guys at the very beginning of the year who would lead the team, and only 11% of you voted for Cal Raleigh, the big dumper. Julio, he got 60% of the vote. He's only three behind Cal, but Cal Raleigh, dude's got the power stroke working right now. And this is not unusual for Cal to really get into a groove he's done this in the past last year in september and october if you will cal hit eight home runs across 71 at bats that is an absurd home run rate for cal raleigh it was the most home runs he's hit in an entire month in his professional career until august of 2023 where he's hit eight home runs and it's august 22nd at the time of recording this game two of the white Sox series is currently going on and you guys all know that in game one, Cal Raleigh had a multi-homer game. Cal, it's his seventh in his career. It's his fifth one this season. He almost had three home runs last night because the first one that was a double off the wall barely didn't get out. It hit off the top of the fence. And Cal Raleigh, when he's got his swing going, when he is seeing the ball well and getting the barrel to it, Cal Raleigh will not be denied for home runs. We take a look at these multi-homer games here. We know that his most recent one was August 21st. It's a shame that his one prior came against Boston. We know how much he loves to absolutely dump on the AL East teams, but had that been in August, he would have already set his most home runs in a month with 10. Doesn't even need 10, he just needs nine. So Cal, if you can get one more before August is done, you'll have set a record for yourself, my friend. Cal Raleigh, he is an integral bat to this lineup and like many other hitters for the Seattle Mariners in 2023, we all know how bumpy of a start this season got off to. July 1st is when he kicked it into gear like many other players on this team. Cal, since July 1st, he's got a 132 WRC plus which leads major league catchers. There's not any ifs, ands, or buts. Cal Raleigh has the best WRC plus since july 1st at the catching position he is the best offensive catcher in major league baseball and that shows in the war standings as well for the entire 2023 season right now i've tried to get this as up to date as possible for live stats but right now cal is currently tied for second with william Contreras at 3.5 work you can't see right there only 0.1 behind will smith and cal it's not even his offense that's really carrying him his defense is still doing really well a lot of the the heavy lifting there and cal's been swinging a very hot bat obviously we know it's a lot of boom or bust for cal and if you look at his ops plus and wrc plus from last year compared to this year he isn't having as good of a year in terms of that and it is a lot to do with the amount of at bats he's seeing and his extra base hits per those at bats he's currently got one less double and four and three less home runs in 13 more at bats this season so his ops plus is going to be a little bit lower obviously a 113 ops plus is 13 points better than the major league average but it's nine points lower than what cal was at last year however we are only at the end of august we still got a whole nother month of baseball to play cal if he continues to stay hot like he has been there's no reason for me to believe that this number can't get over 30. i could see cal raleigh hitting over 30 home runs this year and this slugging percentage and ops start to creep past this 489 and 774 like we saw him hit last year and it's back-to-back -back great years for cal as, overall as a player last year finished fourth overall in war at the catching position he's slated to finish somewhere around in that same spot again so you know how valuable cal is behind the plate on the defensive and offensive side and cal what i believe to be his biggest asset is ability to get the barrel to the ball in 2022 he led our mariners team in barrel percentage with 96 percent that bubble on savant is beat red so i misspoke a bunch essentially during this part i kept calling it percentages instead of percentiles so i'm just gonna rehash this cal raleigh's barrel percentage in 2023 is 14.3 percent and at this point, it jumped up to the 89th percentile. I kept saying it was in the 84th percentage, which is just not accurate because that would insinuate that I'm saying his barrel percentage would be 84, which would be insane. 
So it's 14.3%, which is good for 89th percentile in all of baseball. I also go on to say that he is third in barrel percentage on the team at 89% or 84%. He is now second at 89th percentile. Percentile is the key word. So apologies, Cal Raleigh. He's really good at hitting barrels. That's the main part there. We all love the big home runs from Cal Raleigh. There's no denying that. But what I think is his most underrated aspect for his value on this team is his leadership on june 27th cal raleigh had this to comment on a loss to the nationals in 11 innings this is a couple days before the mariners went on to have their best month of the 2023 season it's very frustrating he said i don't think it's a lack of effort i just look at us and we're not a good baseball team right now straight up it's nice and all with the good vibes and whatever but we're not playing well right now and we know it and we've got to pick it up cal raleigh he's only been in the league for essentially two years if you i don't really want to count the first year because he didn't really play that much and he's got the veteran leadership the savvy veteran leadership of a guy that's been in the league for five six seven years he's got that head on him that kind of put your nose to the grindstone kind of dude that just goes out there and wants to get the job done at the end of the day no nope. cal raleigh the big dumper wants to go out there and win even in a 13 to 1 game cal makes sure that He's got his guys back out there. Yeah, I like this over Cal Rowley coming out, taking the time. Look, I know it's 13 to 1, but when you got a guy like Cal Rowley, I know he's only young in his big league career, but he kind of takes that leadership role on. He knew that this team could do it. It just wasn't working early on in the beginning of this season. Since then, they've managed to turn around and have a phenomenal season. At this point and where I'm recording, we're only two games back of the Texas Rangers. We're currently beating the White Sox and the Rangers losing to the Arizona Diamondbacks. So it's quite possible that the AL West gets even closer. A guy that's going to be integral to that push to maybe win the American League West is Teoscar Hernandez. Colt made a video talking about how he could be the missing link to this team really pushing it over the top this year. Go check out that video if you haven't already. Thank you guys for watching this one and go Mariners.